Music has always played a very big part in our celebration of Christmas and it was seven years ago that we came to this church to enjoy something of the energy and the vivacity of a performance by the Gardner Street Gospel Choir. At St. Francis Xavier's Jesuit Church in Gardner Street in Dublin's inner city, the old choir room resonates with a new sound for an Irish church. This choir of young musicians is rehearsing for Sunday's Gospel Mass under the inspired direction of their talented young founder, 25-year-old Kevin Kelly. that a lot of my peers and my friends uh, you know saw mass as irrelevant you know and I realized myself that there was a lot of older people at mass so I uh, the, the idea struck me of a gospel choir that you know I've heard of these gospel choirs in in Baptist churches in America and in churches all over America so I thought uh, the image of having a choir a gospel choir a young choir up on the up on the altar um, kind of came to me and we started with 15 singers uh, a lot of friends of mine and we started with two keyboard players in the band. And since then it's just grown. And now we have 40, which is our limit. And we have about 50 in the waiting list. And I'm turning down people every week for joining, which is tough, but uh, it's a good complaint as well. <laughs> Show me the way. Let me hear you say it. One look. Kevin rehearses the band separately from the choir. And in the band, as in the choir, are some rock and jazz musicians, as well as music teachers. And the band, all to like the choir, began with his own musician friends, whom he approached with a seemingly irresistible invitation. I was always going to Mass at home, which was Swords at the time, and you'd listen to the church choir, and although you'd like the sound of some of their hymns, not all of them would be appealing to someone of my ears. And then gradually I started to gain interest in other forms of making music in Mass, and when Kevin Kelly, our director, came with the opportunity of making a gospel choir Mass, well then I couldn't resist. Hear the children cry, yeah. And that's most definitely upbeat. And the musical director of the Gardner Street Gospel Choir is uh, Aidan Green. Aidan, this is a choir that really puts its all into it. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and it demands it of us. We have a high energy performance that we display every Sunday at Mass. And the idea is that we try to get ourselves into it, get the congregation into it, and get them to enjoy Mass by moving, by song, by whatever way they feel comfortable doing, by dancing. And that's what we're aiming for in every single performance. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And has the choir changed over the years? We've had a huge turnover in membership. I mean, the band has completely changed from the footage you saw earlier. And then also the choir, we have some who are still here and some who have moved on and gone to other gospel choirs or other music um, activities themselves. But, I mean, we have still got a, over a two-year waiting list for people still itching to get into the choir, which is impressive in one way, but uh, unfortunately disappointing for them. But, I mean, like, no matter what the membership is, we try and keep the core values the same. How do you characterise the music that you perform? Um, people would say we're probably not strictly gospel but we try to combine traditional gospel in some of the songs that we do and then some more popular songs to try and appeal to everybody so that whether you are a fan of old style gospel, new style gospel, or you like the latest song you heard on the radio that has a gospel message, which we might be able to do, well then that's what we're trying to combine. So you get an, an eclectic mix of everything. Jesus, Jesus. And as you look through an Irish Christmas archive, you're reminded that the more things change, the more they remain the same in the essentials. And that's certainly true of the spirit of Christmas in Ireland, which even in harsh times raises us above the mundane and the work a day, drawing families together and inspiring great generosity and love. And that's a precious tradition which will be handed on to future generations. And as you draw your family around you at this special time of year, May we wish you a very peaceful, a very happy Christmas and a new year. A very good evening to you. Jesus. Oh,